I haven't had any money and you already know I've been financially. Um, so, but I think my core aspect of my problem is right now is I still feel like I'm in this plateau right now. I'm still doing as much as I can, just trying to stay above water, or whatever. Um, so I'll just get to the point. Uh, my question is, is how, how do you respond to this environment? So basically it's like that. So you asked me last time, you said, make sure you do this for one year and this job thing. And I'll, I'm going to go ahead and address that when I graduate. Um, but for right now, I just, um, I think I know what's causing the problem. I mean, I think I've kind of known it's just like this anxiety thing. And there's kind of like these two contrasting states. I can't really get into all the details because I don't have enough time. But, you know, sometimes I can be really calm and cool and I can get the desired social response from people. And that's basically why I can't monetize people. Because what happens is like, say when I'm doing a sales pitch to them, trying to sell them ADD coaching, they're like, yeah, this guy's really knows what he's talking about. But when I get anxious, like, when, uh, when I was eating like a lot of food, when I, uh, when I was trying to bulk, I was having a lot of problems, you know, brain fog, anxiety, all that shit. It's, it's also been affecting my, my capacities to like get the ideal relationship goals that I want. And I'm just saying like for you, you I don't want to say like, it's a cop out and say John has better genetic. I mean, it's possible, but I don't, I, I don't buy that. Like, um, mm -hmm. So I guess my core question is, I think my problem right now is is basically diet. I feel like it's diet problem because that's where I got your intermittent, intermittent fasting from. And when I did that, I didn't have anxiety anymore. I feel fine, right? I don't, I don't have like, I sometimes I get really paranoid. I get really distrustful of people when I'm like that. And it's hard for me to uh, trust people, I guess. So I don't, I, I don't know what to do anymore because it's like everything I do, it feels like a half measure. I've tried meditating. I've tried, I don't have enough money for the diet right now but there is a possibility of me doing coaching. So I guess what I'm asking is how do you approach like a problem of this complexity? Cause it's like, I, sorry, I didn't mean to talk your off, but it's just that there, there, this food problem is basically what's causing all my problems. The reason why I, I'm having, I can't monetize anything. The reason why I get fired from probably a lot of jobs, et cetera. Anyways, I don't know if that, I, that's a question, but. Okay. Um, no, I get where you're going with it. So, so a couple of things I'll just point out, right? So okay. just as you were talking to me, one of the very first red flags that I heard was when you said, you know, you know that I'm financially fucked, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so now the reason why that's uh, a red flag to me <laughs> is because that's the wrong viewpoint to have, right? Because if you have that viewpoint, if you, if you internalize this idea that you're financially fucked, you'll continue to be financially fucked because, because that's what, because that's the story that you're telling yourself, right? Now, again, I'm not trying to, trying to dismiss any kind of hardships you've gone through. We all have, but you cannot view yourself as financially fucked. Like that's not the way to view yourself, right? So the same thing with this, with this, with this diet thing, right? Again, you can't say, oh, well, the diet is causing all of these things. Perhaps it's contributing to it. Perhaps it's, it's causing like the diet may be causing you brain fog, but it's not causing you to not be able to monetize, to, uh, to not be able to, you know, to, to get coaching clients to have relationship issues, right. To have anxiety. It, it may be causing one of those, those things that may be contributing to it. So what, where I'm going with this is this, is that imagine that you have to just live with this. Imagine that there is nothing that you cannot fix this. Right. So, so this is like the, the condition that, that people that have like chronic pain have to address in their life. Right. It's like, if you, I don't know if you've ever done this thought exercise, but I've done it myself. I was no. like, well, what if I had like a, cause I, have you ever had like a really bad headache? You yeah. Know? Yeah. Get okay. them all the time. Go ahead. So sometimes, you know, people get these cluster headaches where, right. Where it's like, yeah. it's like horrible pain. Right. And I was thinking, <laughs> Man, you know, last time I think I was out playing cards with my dad and I had a couple of drinks and I had a cigarette or two and it just was the right combination of making my head hurt, right? And it was just a bad headache. And I thought to myself, I was like, man, what if I just had to deal with this for the rest of my life? Because I was just trying to like, and I was like, hmm, that's interesting. Like just doing that thought experiment made me think, well, shit, like this would really suck really bad. But I couldn't just lay here in bed all day and just, just being like, oh, my head hurts, right? I'd have to actually like do something i'd either have to like kill myself or i'd have to like figure out how to live with this pain right and so right. the reason why i'm saying that is because like instead of looking for like the causes of your of your problems and i'm not saying that you shouldn't like obviously if the diet is is, is an issue I, I feel like maybe you're attributing too much to the diet right uh, because yeah. it's it's right. like it gives you a focus of something to say this is why things are, are the, the way they are <laughs> but 
instead of like is, thinking that like is this where you say i'm a victim <laughs> i'm just we kidding have, go ahead sorry we have different ways of dealing with with you know stress <laughs> in life but but what i'm saying is that instead of thinking okay this diet you know whatever uh in trying to like fix that problem just maybe start taking the viewpoint of i just have to like i have this brain fog i have these problems like whether it's genetic or whatever you know whether it's diet cause or not i have to figure out how to deal with it just like dealing with the headache you know what i'm saying and so right. instead of saying okay once these things are because we have this way of of like saying in our mind well once this problem is gone then i can live my life and just you know it'll everything will yeah. be great and it's like well we don't know if the problem will disappear and we don't know how long it'll take and right. so instead just say okay well all right i have to deal with this problem i get brain fog I have these issues, but I'm still going to like plow forward and and not let that be an excuse. I'm still going to make it happen. Like if you think about that, it could never go away and start living your life that way. Then if it does go away or you just solve the problem, that's great. But you can still operate if that makes sense. 